fast, stuffing them shits in the safe. Got me a spot out the way. Nigga just trying to be safe. Let's get some sports talk. How about some bold predictions from you for 2020? And what's your first one? Let's okay, start with the I, I know you're a big Sixer fan. I'm sorry, but Sixers are going to get knocked out in the first round. Oh, come on. They're going to get knocked out in the come first round. Come on. Right now, they're the sixth seed in the, in, in the NBA. In the East, right? That means they play the bad matchup. Until Ben Simmons, he can actually make a shot a shot. Until they play through the low post to Joe Embiid, his average shot distance is 13 feet. Get on the block, dominate people on the block, and then Tobias Harris, at the end of the game, attack. Play downhill, get to the foul line. Until they show they can do that, they're out in the first round. Can we get a couple 3 and D guys and still make it? Uh, I don't think so. I'll tell you my other one. Man. Uh, the Mavs? Okay. Go to the Western Conference Finals. Oh, wait a second. What? Mavs, what? Wait. They, can't they just guard said, anyone. Martin, those guys just said it's Lakers clip. Well, please, stop. Enough. And the reason, <laughs> hey, look, you can it, it just shows you, man, where the sisters have gone since Jimmy Butler departed. And went to Miami, you can see the difference in this team. You know, and B have to be healthy for this team. That's the, that's that's what he's saying. Like it's like Ben Simmons when Joel B going on, this his team. Why he's not on the court? Is it the Ben Simmons to lead this team? Why and B is not on the court? Is that's the change that they need? They the six C. I ain't know they dropped that far. And the way they looking, they could end up uh, out of the first round. And the Mavericks, you never know what could happen with the Mavericks. Everyone thinks they can't go to the Western Conference Finals because you, everyone's talking about the Lakers and, and the Clippers. You don't know what could happen in a, in a playoff. Anything can happen. It's a toss-up. Anything can happen. About December, the month of December, let's say the Mavs don't guard anyone. The month of December 7th in defensive efficiency. They got a guy that's just different. different. Lucas Donkic, think about this 29 points, 9 rebounds, 9 free throws attempted, 9 assists, and Christmas Fuzingas. Think about what he is. Right now, he's rebounding the basketball, 9 a game. His offense will come around. He's going to make shots. It's just right now, he's been a year away from basketball. The Mavs in the finals. Mark it down. Wow. All right. Your third bold, bold prediction of 2020. That is bold. About the Prediction is that Greg Popovich is going to step down as head coach of the Spurs. Oh. Because he's going to coach the Olympic team, wants to get Olympic gold. Mm -hmm. can, hard to do both. And they're going to hire Bill Self. Bill Self, R.C. Buford, we're together at Kansas. You think about Bill Self, great communicator, creative offensive coach, terrific defense coach, connects with players, obviously solves problems with everything they've gone through. I can see Bill Self make a seamless transition to the NBA. The Spurs, there's a connection. I can see Pop saying, you know what? We're in a good place. I'm going to handle personnel. I'm going to deal with the Bill, it's your team. And they are facing some issues with some allegations at Kansas. It might be the right time. Why to not? Do you want to deal with that if you're Bill Self? No. Go the NBA. If Greg Popovich do step down from the sport, it'd be weird to see, you know, because Spurs might do need a new voice in there. Like, not saying Greg Popovich ain't still ain't doing a good job. It's just like, what well, do the Spurs want to head to a new direction? Because Popovich is their GM still. He's their GM and a coach. So if he do want to step down and coach the U.S. team and let someone else come in and move toward the future and let a new coach come in and let, them be, let him be the new voice for the Spurs. Build the Spurs with the support of Greg Popovich. And especially with that organization. Time now to run the floor. NBA action from last night. Rockets beat the Nuggets 130 to 104. Get this 28 for Westbrook, 35 for Harden. Coach, are they starting to gel as a team? They are starting to gel. They're learning how to play out of that double piece. People are running that double piece at Harden. They're throwing out of it, not settling, attacking. Think about this. Westbrook only takes two threes, and Eric Gordon having him back. Another scorer on the floor that takes some pressure off those two guys is huge. I think Houston's for real. Yeah, Westbrook taking just two threes. That's some discipline right there. Chris Paul on the Thunder beating. Because you should know after that, after everyone's seen what happened to you the last game when they double team you, and now they're going to try to duplicate that, and now you figure that out, and they working now. 
everyone's going to try to try something else because they still trying to, to copycat the last team and do the same thing to Houston. And now they line to break it and attack it. Mavericks, 106 to 101. What has CP3 showed you? The Thunder. Well, this is he's playing off the ball more. He has 91 points in clutch time. He's, he's making big plays at the right time. But more importantly, it's his leadership, his ability, his professionalism. And then you got Shea Gilgis Alexander. Shea Gilgis Alexander right now playing at a lead level. 19 points, hard to defend. Budding superstar there. Sixers losing their third. Because you know why they probably ain't get rid of Chris Paul? Because Shea Alexander is a young player still. Having Chris Paul next to him, having that veteran presence next to him will benefit him a whole lot. And they, and they have. And he's playing top basketball right now for uh, the Thunder because you had that, that, that floor general next to you, that veteran present next to you that can talk to you. And he's playing at an elite level right now for them because that present of a veteran next to him. That's why the Thunder ain't get rid of Chris Paul yet. Third straight beat after beating the Bucks. Seth, what concerns do you have about Philly? They've got to validate that win, and they've got to be ready each and every night. When I think about Ben Simmons, he makes all those jumpers in the summer in those videos. He's got to make some jumpers during the game. He's great for your fantasy team, but your fantasy team doesn't win games. Puts up numbers, but they've got to be winning numbers. And then Tobias Harris, he's got to be more aggressive, attack more. They need a lot more from this team. The 76ers have hit a bit of a speed. They hit a speed bump, man. It just, they need MB to be healthy. Like you see how the team plays, B ain't healthy. It, it, it got to be something. When he, when he ain't playing, someone got to step up and take control when he's not on the floor. Bump lately since mid-December. They dropped six of their last nine games. One loss shy of their total for the season. ESPN on YouTube for more and analysis. Right. For the little bit of the battle, nigga, I got to be safe. Got